All right, everybody. Um, Joshua here, Knox Studios. Uh, we're at week two. So week two with the puppies. Um, in the background right here on slideshow, just got like the nine photos that I kind of took uh, right at two weeks of them sleeping before they went to bed. Um, rolling over starting our the beginning of our third week. But uh, in this video, I do want to highlight some of the transformations that have happened. Um, most notably, those are going to be their eyes opening um, and how that translates then into how much stronger and their awareness uh, and then their size. So right now with this, we're going to actually introduce them one by one. And so I can kind of showcase for you exactly um, how big they are, how much they've changed, and we'll introduce them kind of all over again. But uh, with their eyes open, uh, I hope that you will enjoy this. And then uh, I'll be doing a separate part two in order to kind of show you that, uh, what I was able to film and document uh, them in live action throughout the week as well. So thanks for watching. It does help the channel as we're trying to find forever homes for the other eight of them. Only number six have been claimed. So please, if you can, it really will help out um, getting the Rhodesian Ridgebacks in front of more eyes. Rhodesian Ridgebacks are a very popular breed, a very new breed. So introducing them to a bigger population is uh, uh, really important to me to make sure that they find uh, suitable families and no dog goes unsheltered. It's a very important thing. So thank you so much for watching and uh, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to follow us along this journey more and learn more. So let's get going. All right, so most notably um, this time around we will go more in order of uh, their, their birth. So number one, pink girl, is uh, right here. You see her coat uh, is getting much more standard light uh, with a really distinct ridge here on her back. And with her eyes open, as they just, I usually just kind of try and hold them. Now they've been sleeping for a while, so as I kind of agitate them a little bit more, they're gonna I'm put them down with mama so they can eat. But yeah she is really active there she's getting so big i swear she's doubled in size i'm not going to spend too much time on them but i do want you to be able to see them kind of more up close and then of course her belly oh yes and you got a bath last night but still starting to smell a lot more um earlier parts of the day as they're getting bigger they're definitely starting to potty a lot more so there is pink girl number one. All right, second here is purple girl number two. Now she is still one of the, pretty much tied for the, the biggest, but I want you to look at the camera, huh? Yeah, her white spot still here on her back, uh, still very evident. Um, her ridge coloring is probably one of the darkest of them and frankly her coat is pretty much the darkest of them but she pretty much does not make a noise uh, very cuddly very easy to bathe clip which we did this week as well for the first time against my better judgment but she is just becoming a really big girl um, one of my all-time favorites for certain and her uh, distinct face is just so beautiful as well. So meet purple girl number two. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go eat. Here is orange boy number three. Uh, he was the only one that I had trouble with on clipping, but um, he is pretty small compared to the other two boys. Orange Boy um, really had a lot of hard time like I don't know if it was just going to sleep or it was just all the activity uh, the worst thing was in his circumstances I had gone through all of them clipping the nails and missed um, his 
all together so the timing was a lot different than the rest and I tried while he was kind of more stressed and I pulled the trigger because it took me hours on end but his coat is definitely um, still more distinguished with his head being a lot lighter um, no ridge but still very distinctly <clears throat> distinctly black here on his back and he's still been really one of the more quiet ones but it was um, right here oh, no, on this side right here on his front paw the front index left he was a trooper it really wasn't that bad but at first of course it's it's only natural to completely freak out <laughs> doing that and I'll, I'll be showcasing that as well all right pink girl number four she's more dark pink number four um the grayest of them um, in terms of her coat very very much the most unique um hair still but she does make a little bit more noise than the rest of them but more often than not she is still very temperate no ridgy on her um, and not as dark here on her back um, but still one of the sweetest girls when she's going down she is just a cuddle bug so their eyes open their personalities really starting to go on display a lot more and yeah, I'm just waking them up, so you're gonna get a lot of the cute yawns. Oh yeah, yeah. They kind of like, they're more looking at me than they want to look at the camera, but I'll do my best. So, say hello. Good girl. All right, All right then we have red girl. Red girl number five. Um, red girl is also probably one of the lightest, more gray or darky ridge coloring, um, notably lighter on the head a little bit. Um, her face is just so distinctly dark. She's kind of got that panda effect going on with the dark ears and the dark face, but she's um, still a little bit more of the middle of the ground in terms of her overall size but also her ridge is very distinctly broader than the rest and yeah she's just so so sweet so so sweet to be honest though she actually is a little bit more of the mobile one harder for me to get her at the right time to um kind of rest and chill out with <laughs> but um, yeah, I think she's just super curious so she's showing a lot more of the curiosity not necessarily liking to be handled as much as the rest although it's not hard to it's just that um, compared comparably to the rest of the litter um, she's doesn't really spend a lot more time if, like on my chest or anything in rest mode putting on her back between my legs and just petting her belly. She hasn't been as easy thus far, but um, things will change and just gotta spend a little bit more time with her maybe. Uh, there is Red Girl, number five. All right, there's uh, White Girl, number six. She was the first to open her eyes this week. Um, Still getting much bigger. I, I'd argue she's a little bit bigger even than number two, purple girl. But this white girl, um, she's just, I don't think I've really even heard her yelp or make a noise. She kind of reminds me more of Kiwi than any of the rest, minus the fact that again, she does not have the ridge. Uh, she is the only one that's sold. And uh, of all of them, in terms of panda effect on her face, yeah, she's <laughs> the most distinctive on that front. So, and she even has these like really fanatical um, black flares kind of coming up off of her. So, yeah, she's getting a little bit more agitated earlier than the rest here. So, I think she's probably also very, very hungry. So, there you go. White girl number six. All right, come on. Focused. Huh? There you go. 
The yellow girl number seven, um, still one of the more tame of them. Uh, she very rarely kind of cries or does anything other than, um, you know, hang out by herself a lot of the times. But she is getting better as far as getting in there and getting part of the pack and eating time. Um, very notably still growing quite a bit, but still very much the runt. Um, again, here maybe with the better lighting on the ridge, you can see it's still very standard, but I do see that there's like maybe a little bit here on one of the sides that has a little bit of an extra out to it. Um, it's hard to tell at this young of an age, but a yellow girl is definitely becoming one more of my, one of my favorites in terms of her temperament. So, you still smell okay, huh? they're all feeding very very well and in a frenzy but yeah he is just a doll and super sweet so he also doesn't seem to be making potty business uh, as readily as the last one that we'll get to here next uh, ready to go eat and breakfast brunch lunch or dinner all of the meals every two hours okay all right and we have our most active boy this might be a little bit of a struggle with him but i love his markings and the distinctiveness of his face um we changed him to blue boy this black boy um I'll show you his ridge so his ridge is still very standard as well and you can see it a little bit better this time around with the extended little ridge here cowlick going on on his neck um, he, like I said before, is the most active, harder to tame, and the biggest. So, and I'm getting a really good idea with him as far as what to expect going into the, the third week here with the rest of them as they catch up. But, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, you can't put him down without expecting him to just want to completely survey the area first. Uh, before really kind of settling into a spot. Okay, okay. The cool part is, uh, I don't have to go all the way over to Mama to put him next to it, because he's just, he's all about it. And he'll find it. I could probably put him on the other side of the room here. Mom be way over here. And it wouldn't take him more than 10 seconds to uh, know exactly where he's going. So, I hope that gives you a little bit faster paced like intros to where they are at week two maybe you can noticeably see the size difference and of course you will indicate and obviously notice the uh, difference in their personality with their eyes open we're going to do a little bit different things um, through the next week because of their growth um, the pen i did upgrade this week uh, we have an eight-sided 24 inch gate um, that i'll be using and what's still been having to change all the bedding very, very often due to potty business. But um, other than that, I'm gonna try and really see how much waste that they're producing um, throughout this next week using some puppy pads. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, we do, I'll do a part two of this for week two, more of the documentation videos of them in their pen with mama, feeding, walking, 
and do my best to kind of showcase some of the things, including their eyes opening, the well, things about the clippings um, with their nails and, and so forth. So again, if you're interested in puppies, Rhodesian Ridgebacks, we have plenty and we'd really like to get in touch with them. Anybody who is subscribed to the channel, you can share this. Um, liking, commenting, and subscribing will help boost the channel naturally so it's seen by more people. It's going to be more visible to a larger audience, which of course will help with this whole process. And one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to do this. Now, these are gonna be some gorgeous and beautiful, well-mannered dogs as Rhodesian Ridgebacks are. Uh, for more information on Rhodesian Ridgebacks, there are plenty of YouTube channels out there, but I am going to be trying to take the most, the biggest, advantage of this time with them to really do as best as I can in documenting their development <clears throat> so that you can see it. So thank you again. Peace. Mama.